Good news guys, I do have a giveaway coming soon on my business Instagram and on my YouTube very very soon but if you want to partake in my Instagram first giveaway ever, first ever giveaway guys, do not forget to follow my Instagram at Queens Lounge with a 2S underscore queens with two s underscore lounge and i do have my um what do you call it my instagram name in my description box also make sure you're already subscribing and following because i do have my giveaway rules but i'll be posting more on that on my business instagram again hey everyone welcome back to my channel so i've already made a lot of videos like this so i would not really be saying much about this video so i'm gonna just do like a rundown real quick and we are going to be talking about something else so i will be doing the messy locks butterfly messy locks for my clients i believe she does have about 45 counts of locks i'm not really sure in between 43 to 47 let's just say that to be safe and i'll be doing the free parts for her she has you know a fine hair and the style still works so basically if you have a fine hair you're good to go Okay, because she hasn't complained since she left and she's had it for I think about two weeks or a week and I'm not really sure one of them. But I mean I've done locks for her before, the full locks and messy locks and it always stays. So hopefully this one stays for her as well. I'll be using two different colors. Yeah, I'll be using color one B and color thirty. When I do her hair for her, she always likes to add color thirty and it does come out looking, looking, looking really, really I was going to say looking, really, I said looking, looking. <laughs> it does come out looking really, really fine. And I really do love when she picks her own color. Like, she knows how to pick the color and how to, you know. She would just tell me, place them whenever, wherever you feel that, you know, that looks nice. And that's what I did. So, I'm done braiding her hair. I'm going to um, wrap it up. And then, you're going to me count. And I'm going to count. And I'm going to start wrapping her hair. But, let us get right into something real quick. But first, before we do, have you guys liked, have you guys subscribed, have you guys commented? <laughs> but um, before we get um, right into it, guys, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just like and subscribe, basically. You can comment when you're done watching. I understand that. But um, I do have something. Again, this hair is all on my website. I do have the hair. I do have the crochet hook. I also have other things on my website. I'm also trying to add something else, something new. I am trying to come up with a bonnet that you can use to um keep your locks safe. Pretty much keep all your hairstyles safe, but, you know, your locks as well. Because I probably post a lot of locks video. And it's going to have a silky um inside. It's going to be African prints. And I do plan on adding some more stuff um african prints and non-african prints for you know for just for everybody so that everybody can have some basically i do plan on bringing that really really soon i'm working on that so just be patient with me and again thank you guys for all your support i'm so so grateful um the comments the likes the shares and all that stuff i'm really really grateful for this locks, I will be using two strands. So before now, I don't know if you see my other videos, I usually start with one strand and sometimes one and a half strands. But her hair is pretty fine. So I just wanted to do the, I wanted it to have a nice hold at the root so it doesn't unravel or fall out and anything like that. So that's why I'll be starting with two strands. And since she's doing the mid back, I started with two strands and then... When I am done with this one, I'm going to add another two strands. And then when I reach the end, and I, if I feel like I already used two two strands and it doesn't really have the length that she said she wanted, I would go ahead and use one strand just to get me that length. And then when I'm wrapping all the way up, it's going to make the end thick. So it's not going to be, you know, skinny. It's going to be even, you know, from the top to the bottom, basically. And I don't know if you can see how I make my um my little curves, but I think at some point I'm gonna zoom in like the other ones that I'm gonna do, like in this in this video. I am going to zoom, and you can gonna see me. It's just pretty much you know I'm putting my thumb before I wrap to the right, and then wrap twice, and then take my thumb out, and then wrap again just to tighten the 
the loop just to make sure it doesn't unravel or doesn't lay flat basically i also did not dip this in hot water i always use my hot towel people always ask me if you have, can you dip this i feel like you can dip it for sure but know that when you dip it it's heavy so i feel like you know if i go and get my hair done i don't want to leave there with my hair heavy like i want to make sure that i'm good before i leave so um you can dip them but i usually just just the, use the um the hot um towel steam because it's just it's just way better it's way better this hair is already soft so dipping it don't really do much for me um because it gets heavy when you dip them of course when you when, i mean of course it only gets heavy because of the water but when the water is gone you're good to go but guys literally i haven't seen any great benefits of dipping them i haven't so i don't really know you guys can try it and let me know but you don't have to dip this ones for this style i believe i used about six and a half packs six and a half or seven because i know it was a mid bag so yeah did about six and a half or seven and this is the only hair that I used for my bob, my shorts, my mid back, my waist length, my butt length, my knee length, whatever length that I'm going for, I use this hair. I know we want something long that's going to be, you know, that's going to be long. We need like, a, I don't know, whatever inches are going to be long, but know that some hair, they're long and wavy and silky and it doesn't really last as long. That's the reason why no matter what, I use this for all my clients use it for my own hair for all my clients because i only trust the sprinkles hair and also don't forget to follow my social media because when i have new products or new stuff from my website i usually post on there and you know i usually post on youtube as well but not every time but whenever i have something i always you know post on my um on my instagram again you can also subscribe to my website so that when i have something new when i when i'm sending out some invites or whatever um you guys are going to be the first to see it and that is how it's looking right now guys so yeah and that's the color i will be showing you how i do the color 30 and my next after this one in my next tutorial but till then please again do not forget to like comment and subscribe again thanks so much for your support and i will be seeing you guys in my next video